players experience anything like this road crowd noise. Blitz comes. There's that pressure and an interception. The pressure forces the pick. Chaz Ayu picks it off. Yeah, and they played zone behind him. Up tonight in a big, big way. Well, Flynn, it's what we've been talking about. The trend for BYU on third down is to bring pressure, but to play zone behind it so that the defensive backs are looking at the quarterback. Most teams play man coverage. The team that turned it over pay and feel that pain from it. But when you get a stop by your defense like that, that's a huge win. End over end and a great punt there. He's going to be down inside the three yard line. And they're out to the 40. Another play under center. Thomas, the ball came out and it's scooped up by the Cougars. Isaiah Heron was right there. It just came to him. Wow. Dynamic in the backfield, but not holding on to the ball has been an issue. And this one, he gets it away from his body, it gets poked out. And the second takeaway. 37-yard field goal is good. Right down the middle for Jake Oldroyd. His first try of the year. Perfect. And BYU grabs a 3-0 lead. Move that defensive line completely out to the right. And now they go quick tempo. Give it right back to Katoa. Straight ahead running for Lapini Katoa. Down to the 35. Play clock winding down, and they do snap the ball. They're going for it. Hall in the pocket. Now Hall's going to try to run, and he's got wide open space out in front. Hall gets the first down, and much more inside the 20. Wow. Really doesn't do them a whole lot of good. So he's trying to get something big out of it, and you talk about a guy with athleticism. You know, he doesn't have Zach Wilson. Rex is alone on the right side. I'm perplexed how... Uninvolved he's been these first two weeks for BYU all sprinting away from him and throws right to the pylon Touchdown Neil Paolo. First down or if it broke the plane you put a chip in the football I, mean, I guess on a play like this even if you had the Rod Gilmore uh, chip in the football <laughs> you would still have to make sure that his foot wasn't out of bounds at the moment the chip buzzed Charlie Brewer after the completion and then the penalty yardage under center. He's going down. Chaz Ayu came as a defensive back with the blitz. Again, this is what we're talking about. Brought him from the edge. This is a whole new approach for BYU. You see, he's coming free and they bend but don't break. Yeah, for a long time, really. Hand off around the left corner. That's a nice gain and a first down. Much more Makai Bernard with his speed. The one returner in the backfield for Utah inside the BYU 30. Against a strong safety. Brewer kind of looking in his direction. There he is, and it's caught for a touchdown. That's Keithy. And Utah in the end zone for the first time tonight. 20 yards, Utah touchdown. Who Utah was looking at. That they wanted. Look at that matchup. And then at the fake to the outside, inside, you cannot. There's been adoption of that philosophy more across the board. Rico, man, it's fun to watch him punt. Just skies it up there. No fair catch. And now, after the missed tackle, some room to return. And a great return outside the 40 to the 45. Who else but Covey, right? He's staying healthy. When he is healthy, he can do this. He was a freshman in 2015, and the good ones make the first guy miss. Read your blocks in. And it's very dark under the lights here in Provo. Utah has the ball again, and Brewer kept it. That was some nifty ball handling. The BYU defense had no idea. Now we're going to get another personal foul. Utah, now you have two timeouts. They've let a lot of time run off. You're in the part of the field where if you stop the clock, maybe you come up with a big play. Hall across the middle. That pass is caught. So they didn't use the timeouts. BYU gets a completion for the first down. And that's Dallin Holker, one of those tight ends. I just don't. You, you not, go into yeah. up tempo, and then you don't call the timeouts. Hall, big run. Hall out toward midfield. Clock will stop while they get the chain set now. Under a minute to go. Clock is moving. Hall got to get the ball snapped. And at some point, got to get rid of it. We'll throw it downfield, and he's got a man wide open. Caught. He kept the play alive long enough to find Keanu Hill. And Utah called the timeout. 
This now, play just took so long. Well, the thing that happened was because Hall kept himself alive so much, the defensive backs came up and they lost track of receivers. And Hill just kept going deep. But they do still have that timeout uh, thanks to Utah needing to burn there. So Hall is going to spin, look for the end zone, and it is caught! Touchdown! Samson Nakua, who caught one for the Utes in this rivalry game a couple years ago. Now he's wearing the BYU blue. Earlier, like uh, maybe the chin strap wasn't fast, but this is just one of those out routes where he fakes inside, and that's that hurts the defensive back because you got to protect the inside, so the outside's open. Yeah, he was a he was a part of BYU's baseball program a couple years ago. Gave it up to focus full time on football. Big pressure coming, but he got away and he <laughs> delivered the ball to Paolo. There, are those wheels bought a little extra time and got the big game. And we talk about athleticism. He recognizes, okay, this is a big blitz. He knows it has to be seen. Third and six. Brewer across the middle, wide open. There's one of those tight ends. That's Kincaid into BYU territory. First down and much more for Utah. Darren Hall, and he said when it comes to Hall, his father played at BYU. This game means so much to him. He's been preparing this game for his life. Preparing for a run like that, straight down the sideline, almost to the goal line, Jaron Hall. So now first and goal, Hall looking to throw the ball across the middle, zipped it in there, touchdown. Gunner Romney. He's got that dimension. I'm not saying Zach Wilson couldn't yeah. have done that, but maybe not quite like this. And he's got some arm strength. He's got some touch. He's showing you all the skills. And this place is getting even louder. Into the backfield, Bernard made a couple Cougars miss and breaks off a good run. Bernard across midfield. There goes Bernard inside the 30. Wow, that could have been a loss. And Makai Bernard doesn't want this game to be over quite yet. 51 yards. Nice subtle move in the backfield to force a missed tackle because he looked like he was going to be stopped back there right away. Time but then for an injured he got away. And look, now they're set up. Now they Correction. are. In. A long, long time. BYU full of energy all game long. Utah has the ball, though, as we start the fourth quarter. Brewers going down. Healy in the backfield. Kick on the way, and it is good. So Redding boots this one through, and Utah does get something positive at the start of the fourth quarter. Former walk-on has earned a scholarship, first-year starter for Utah. He's had a nice game. Utes have two return men deep. The punt, and there was a fake of one of the coverage men for BYU. That worked. That was good design by the Utes and they get a nice return there. Bright young man gone way too soon. Ty Jordan open somewhere that his Utes can come from behind in this rivalry matchup. Makai Bernard is having a heck of a game for Utah. Utah's inside the 25 on the move under 10 minutes to go. Hand off Bernard and again another great run. Bernard making people oh, miss all the way me? to the end zone. Touchdown Utah. 22 yards of power and determination. And we still got nine and a half minutes to go. Yeah, how about a tough run inside when there's nothing there? Bounce off of things like a pinball machine and get your team right back in the game. We got a finish coming. So Algier out. Instead, Hall will keep it, bounce it to the outside. He'll get the first down and more. There goes Hall. and try and get a sack or a loss and push him out of field goal range. Algier slipped through. Algier still going. All the way down to the 10. Rain has stopped. Field goal try. And it is up and right down the middle.
12 years in the making. What a week to be a Cougar. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.